For this problem, we are asked to find the limit as delta x goes to zero of f of x plus delta x minus f of x, all that over delta x, where we're going to let f of x equal x squared plus 1. This is a very typical um, differences limit problem, and the whole goal is to use your algebra skills to make the correct substitutions, be able to factor out a delta x in the numerator, that's always your goal, so that you can cancel the delta x in the denominator. Because if we are to make our substitution, so what we're going to do first is we're going to say for f of x plus delta x, we substitute x plus delta x into f of x where the variable is. Okay, and we get this as the equation of my limit once I make the proper substitutions and replacements for the function notation. So if I try direct substitution as is, I know I'm going to run into problems because the denominator goes to zero. Because this is a rational expression in the argument of the limit, we are going to try to use our algebra to reduce or eliminate that delta x in the denominator. Okay. So what I do is I simplify. First thing I did was I squared my binomial. Always be careful that you don't forget about that middle term, which is twice the product of the two individual terms. And then I distributed my negative through another common error. And I look at what I've got and I see that I have an x squared minus an x squared. So those cancel. Nothing here, nothing here, but I have a 1 minus a 1, so those cancel each other out. Now I look at what I have left. I have the limit as delta x goes to 0 of the quantity delta x squared plus 2x times delta x, all that over delta x. And I remember, okay, my goal is hopefully to be able to factor out those delta x's in the numerator so I can cancel them with the denominator. So what? that's exactly what I'm going to do. I factor the delta x out of the numerator, and I see that sure enough, I cancel away numerator to denominator. Always factor before you cancel. And I'm left with the limit as delta x goes to 0 of delta x plus 2x. So now I've done all the simplification algebraically that I could. Let's try direct substitution. If I try direct substitution, that means this value goes to 0. And this is unaffected. So that leaves me with a final answer for my limit of 2x. That is solution to this problem.